I will try anything. I feel like there is a difference. There is a big difference. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Lizzie and I do fashion, beauty, makeup, blah, 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 fashion, I said that already, hair care videos. So if you like that kind of stuff, come along, come and join the family, come and join. So we're gonna test the Duet Hot Air Styler compared to the Lily England Hot Air Brush. This is really similar to the Revlon One Step, but I actually prefer this one and I will tell you why. I have never tried the Duet Air Styler before. They literally sent me this. I still can't believe that it's even a thing um, because basically I'm with a management agency and my management agency talked to them and they like offered to send me this. Yeah, this is really exciting. Um, so I don't know if this is gonna work or not. I don't know what the kind of way it works is like. I think it's got some straightening plates and then maybe airflow comes through as well. And it's also got a shine shot setting, which you do at the end, which I'm assuming is like a cool breeze. Not gonna lie though, I'm a little bit nervous because this is 379 pounds. And if I don't like it, I'm gonna feel really bad because yeah, they sent me something that's 379 pounds. So I naturally have quite curly hair or like wavy hair. Um, so I'm just brushing this through to start with. I also have this wet styling oil from GHD as well. And they say to put two to three pumps. It's going out, it's going out. Okay, two, three pumps. I've kind of put an extra one on there, but I have got quite a lot of hair. So let's put an extra one on there for luck. I'm just gonna work this through my hair. There we go. Just loosely sectioning my hair because I'm lazy and I can't be bothered to do it properly. So I just always do this kind of thing. Um, in fact, I will get those out of my face as well with a clip. Ah! So this says that it's gonna give me zero damage to my hair and have two times more shine and look amazing basically. So you turn it on and then it beeps and then apparently you start to hear the fan. Um, come on, or should start to hear the fan. Ah, there we go. Ooh, that's quite quiet actually. And it's not very hot at all. Oh, it's getting louder. Okay. And then I'm going to use a hairbrush because that's what they said to do in the instructions. You still get a little bit of hair. And hold that up with that. Oh, oh I accidentally pressed the shine shot thing. Okay, good try and not do that. Ooh. I feel like I'm not actually. Okay, right, hang on. Wow. Okay, that looks like it's pretty dry. And then I'm gonna try with the shine shot thing. Okay. So with the shine shot, I'm assuming that's just... Okay. But that's done a really nice job. I mean, that looks like fully straight. The ends are a little bit less straight. I'll see if I can sort that out. But yeah, I mean, that looks really good. I'm not sure about the shine. I feel like it's probably not that shiny. I feel like it probably would be more shiny if I just used like normal straighteners. But I'm gonna do the rest of my hair and see how it goes. Okay. I just tried to curl in the ends a little bit and that did actually work. So you can give a little bit of a curl, which is nice. That is the GHD so far. Very straight, very sleek. There is a little bit of frizz here, but we'll see if that disappears when I do the next um, level. Okay, so this is one half of my hair done with the Duet GHD Air Styler and my hair feels amazing. I hate to say it because this is expensive, but this, feels really nice. My hair feels really smooth. I feel like it looks very straight and it's not frizzy. Um, I feel like, like it feels like my hair's just been straightened. The shine shot bit basically is straightening your hair. Like I think that that bit 
that you do afterwards is kind of like running it over with straighteners and it's slightly frizzy when you finish just the air styler section but honestly like the time that it takes to do all of it is probably the same as it takes with the normal hot brush that I do but this gives me such a sleeker finish um and yeah I feel like if you want really straight hair quickly this is a really really good tool um but it is very pricey so let's have a look at the Lily England one I'll show you what that looks like and you can decide whether this one is worth the £379 compared to the I think £34.99 that the Lily England one is. So this is the Lily England hot air brush it's got three settings cool low and high I usually use it on the high setting um just because I want to do it quite quickly it's very light in terms of weight I'd say the GHD and the Lily England are very very similar in weight possibly the GHD one is slightly heavier um but yeah they're very very similar I'll show you what this one looks like it is slightly frizzier I think with this one that's the only thing that I think is a big difference um but this is so much more affordable <laughs> So that is the first bit done with the Lily England. It feels really soft and I have to say it does look pretty similar, like frizzy wise. I actually think this looks less frizzy um, than the GHG one did before the smooth shot, but this one is a lot warmer. Like my hair feels warm after doing it. And also there's some bits up here that I still feel like aren't fully, fully dry. So need going over and it did take a bit longer with this one as well. But obviously this is a lot cheaper. So yeah i'm gonna do the rest of my hair and then i'll compare what both sides look like okay so this is the lily england side completely finished obviously i feel like there is a difference there is a big difference like for me i personally think this side looks a lot sleeker a lot smoother and it just feels nicer than this side this side does feel a little bit frizzy and i feel like i probably would still need to go over it with straighteners um, to get that really sleek look and also at the back there are some bits that aren't fully dry yet but I would be able to get that if I just spent a little bit more time with this and um, I think this one just takes a bit more time that's the thing but the price comparison is so different so I would say this is a really good dupe for the Revlon one step if you're interested in that this one does work really well and I actually prefer this to the Revlon one I did have that one as well and I use this way more over that one and obviously if you're looking to splurge and you know get yourself something that's a massive luxury the GHD one is really good but I wouldn't say to anybody you need it it's just a really useful tool and I actually am very grateful I've got it because it's amazing so yeah thank you so much GHD I can't believe that this has happened and I've been sent this I'm very 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 grateful um, and yeah I hope this video has helped people to like decide if they want either of these things I also just want to film this little update I just wanted to show you can curl with the GHD as well I just did this curl with it and it looks very very nice and sleek um, but yeah, I just wanted to include that because I know some people obviously use air stylers to curl as well. Um, so yeah, you can do that. I just realised for that entire video, I've had these things all on my eyes. So yeah, I'm sorry. This mascara definitely transfers. <laughs> this video has been an interesting comparison please do subscribe if you want more content like this or beauty content fashion content and comment down below with which side you prefer and let me know if you're gonna get the Lily England one or are you gonna get the GHD one or neither what have you found that's better than these thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys guys see you guys see you guys